guys and gals, welcome back to doing redneck things off grid. I haven't been out here in quite a while. Uh, this is our Sun Gold Power all in one. We've had it in for a year, and that is my numbers right now. I got two solar panels, uh, two solar systems coming into here, and it is like almost 1.30 in the afternoon and these are my numbers Let's zoom in on that a little better get the numbers cleared up there you go we're at 96 percent and we're batteries are at 57.5 so that is what we're running right now uh, since the last time I was in here Sorry about the fan noise. Uh, as you can see right here, this is this runs outside to the generator. We figured out how to how to hook it into the generator, and it comes comes through the wall and goes down, and it hooks to the generator, and it's it's pretty cool. So, but uh, let me show you what else is we got going. What else I got? Here's our solar trackers, and they noticed they're flat. Uh, what happened is uh, they were too efficient. <laughs> uh, we were getting too much sun, and it was actually kicking the all-in-one off. And I had these 250-watt uh, panels, the ones that are laying flat right here. I had those hooked into the system. But I had to disconnect them because we were over overcharging and it was kicking our system off. And uh, they still have I have six uh, 400 watt panels up there, so it's uh, 2400 watts up there. And those two arrays are a thousand watts each, two, four 250 watt panels. So no, yeah, thousand watts each. So we got. All together, we have 2,400 watts running our solar system. These two little 100 watt panels are charging my spare batteries inside the bathhouse. These two panels, we're going to uh, when we when when we get our new RV, we're going to incorporate those into uh, a portable a portable system for the new RV. So, so all right. Oh, hey, let me get my mug in the sun. But anyway, anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much. Uh, we've had this system for a year now, and uh, pretty much, uh, it's an outstanding system. I mean, if you're you're looking to go off, looking to go off grid, and I would highly suggest. Buying the good stuff, you know, buying, buying good panels, uh, you know, look for deals. There's always deals out there. Uh, the the Sun Gold Power All-in-One system, man, I tell you, uh, uh, I wish I'd have known this uh, six years ago, and I wouldn't wouldn't have had near the near the problems starting out with. But I love the solar trackers. They they they're awesome, you know. Uh, but uh, for what basically happened is I wound up with uh, too much power to run. It was overcharging my system. You know, see, uh, this is the uh, the solar charger thing. That's the charge control box. It doesn't give you much numbers, just what the direction is. But you know, our uh, the uh, the uh, the so the solar uh, the all-in-one only can take 500 watts of input and uh, when I had uh, 4,900 watts of power coming in, it was kicking the system off. So I had to drop I had to drop 500 watts in the panels, and we had to level them out because uh, the solar the solar trackers were so efficient I was getting so much voltage coming in that it was 
like I said, it was kicking off our system. So that's where we're at with that. Uh, ben, ben with the year, uh, Sun Gold Power, spend the money. I think uh, I think we picked it up for like sixteen hundred bucks. They might be lower now. They might be more more expensive now. But I'm telling you, if you're going off the grid, it's a 48 volt system. It's a, it's awesome. You know, the most expensive thing you're going to have to buy is the batteries, which which is which is a you know of course the big expense. But do like we did. You know, where I, I retired six years ago. And every payday, we bought a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, we got uh, these solar panels, these 250. We got them from a guy who had uh, tore down his system, and he sold them us to a hundred for uh, for a hundred dollars a piece. The uh, the the 400s that are up on the uh, up on top of the bathhouse there, we got those for a hundred and thirty-eight dollars a piece. So if you if you're smart and you're gonna do this off grid, go off grid. Take the time, spend the money, and get the good stuff. Don't don't start out with all that crappy Chinese stuff like uh, we did. Uh, I don't know, I think I went through, we went through like three or four uh, different uh, uh, inverters, and I finally broke down, and bought the, the last inverter we had was really good, and, and it was real efficient, but I wanted to go to a 48-volt system because eventually we're going to build our build a house, and we need that, that power for that, and with the with the with the all-in-one we're here as you can see we have you know, our our granddaughter or my mother-in-law's rv is there our son's rv is here and this is our rv and most nights we run uh we'll run the swamp cooler all, all night long and we'll get down to maybe 70 percent on our batteries uh, my batteries are getting old, so I'm going to have to eventually uh, eventually upgrade to, I'm probably going to go to the lithium batteries like uh, like G-Bear has gone to. He's become, he's running his whole thing off of four batteries where he used to have like, I don't know, like eight, 18 six-volt batteries, something like that, the lead-acid batteries. And he went to the ion battery, lithium ion or lithium so I, I never can get the, but he went to lithium batteries and it's, it's so much better. It's so much easier. He, I think he's got five batteries running his system. So go check out G Bears. Thanks for watching everybody. That's where our system is sitting at right now. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I mean, uh, it's kind of nice getting out here. It, it is windy, as you can see. The windmills are zipping away, and our little weather station zipping away. But you know, don't 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 think you're gonna buy a, a buy a windmill and be able to go off grid. I have, I know, G Bears mentioned this seven t several times. Uh, that windmill is just extra charge for your batteries when uh, if it's windy at night, you get a little extra boost for making your power over the night do your homework do your re research see how much power you're going to need and buy the good stuff guys all right that's going to do it all for now god bless everybody support your troops support your president and i will see you on the next one bye